Now this is Shadow and she's a Newfoundland and she's just as much at home in the water as she is on dry land. Newfoundlands are excellent swimmers and they've been credited with saving quite a number of people from drowning. Of course it works both ways. Dogs rescue people, people rescue dogs. Our final clip comes from the States and it involves a rescue attempt that called for the very best in human determination and courage. A dog is trapped in the middle of a frozen lake. But not just any dog. This is a wild dog, a potential killer. Rescue teams have been trying for hours to get to him. But as temperatures plummet to 10 below, his chances of survival are looking increasingly bleak. Rescuers are equipped with special thermal suits and lightweight sleds, capable of travelling on both ice and water. They're risking their own lives to try and save him. But man is his natural enemy, and his natural inclination is to run. Then comes an incredible turnaround. He seems to realise unless he accepts help, he'll die. For the rescuer, tense moments. Face to face with the wild dog, he's no idea how he'll react. A grateful lick says it all and sends a sigh of relief through the whole team. But it's not over yet. The lake's still a very real danger. Back on dry land, the remarkable bond continues. Saved from an icy grave, the dog instinctively seems to know he's in good hands. And I'm pleased to say that particular wild dog is no longer wild. He made a full recovery and was adopted by a local family. So happy ending. I'll be back with more Great Escapes soon. See you then. Bye bye. Well, in fact, Martin Brundle will be back next Monday at the same time, 8.30, with more stories of great escapes. <laughs>